Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Partner in a Year, the series where I, Nika, be go over the steps of... <laughs> hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Partner in a Year, the series where I, Nika, be keep a weekly video diary of the steps I'm taking to try to get the title of Twitch Partner within the span of one year. Um, and, uh, you know, it's just something for myself. Don't expect many people to watch it because, you know, it's like it's like a diary that I want to look back on when this whole journey is done. Um, and we'll go over what happened this last week. So this last week was, um, it was not great. And I don't, I think I'm going to title the, I'm going to title the start of this. Sorry, I'm going to title this video, not just the start. You don't title the start of a YouTube video. I guess you can with chapters now, right? But I'm going to probably title this video something about like burnout, because I think, I think now is the time when the burnout is time is, is like finally starting to set in. Um, cause you know, I've been going at this for a while now and I have to be uh, honest with myself on whether I think that I can do this or not. Um, I'm still going to go for the whole one year thing. Like I'm still going to keep up the schedule. I'm going to keep doing this for a whole year, but I think, I think it's time to acknowledge that. I don't think, I don't think this is something that I'm particularly good at or something that I can do. And that's because th this past week was, was really rough. Um, and I say that as somebody who I, you know, obviously the streams don't, not a lot of people tune in the streams already. Like I'm a very small streamer, probably like five or six viewers per, per stream. But, um, this, this one was, was pretty rough. And I think now, now, and I'll, I'll explain why obviously. Um, and it does have to do with like viewer counts and all that, which I, I try not to like look at, but it's hard it's hard not to think about when you've been doing it for a while and in the other streams that I've done, I've at least been able to pull some people in there. This week, it really felt like um, nothing was going on. It wasn't all bad, but um, I will say two two out of three streams were pretty terrible. Uh, um, and that's, that, you know, that's not like the people's fault. I'm not blaming like my audience for not coming in i'd say that's more on my fault for not not making a stream that was engaging enough for them to want to stop by and you know people get busy and all that so like again i'm not like shifting the blame to anyone but myself like it really is just my fault but um i'll go over my thoughts and, and why i'm feeling super burnt out right now um so i'll start with uh let's go over what we did so the first stream that we did this week was it was Dusk and Elden Ring, and I wanted to, it's just because I just wanted to play Dusk, because again, Iron Lung was such a fantastic experience that I wanted to go back and play Dusk. Dusk is also another just great shooter game, like honestly, the straight up just 10 out of 10 boomer shooter, really enjoyed it. Played that for a little bit, then switched over to Elden Ring. Um, some people stopped by, you know, it was, it was fine, but like, but not many, um, and it was just kind of me talking to myself for, for three to four hours. Uh, so then we move on, and the game that we played next in the week was Spec Ops The Line. Spec Ops The Line was actually a pretty good stream, I'd say, even for my standards. There's a lot of people in there. Um, we got raided by Suki, Suki Tanuki, so thank you so much, Suki, for that raid. Um, got some new people, got some new faces in there. They were all very helpful, and it, it was a fun game, and it, again, it was a, I feel like it was a game I could react to, and I feel like it was a game where it... it, it it had a lot of controversial stuff in it, so people wanted to watch to see me react to that. Um, and I think that is what made it more entertaining than the other streams. So, um, yeah, that, that that was a good stream. I won't I won't lie. Um, Friday, uh, and I, again, I normally don't stream on Fridays, but you know, I was doing something this Thursday. Usually, the the days that I like to stream is typically Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, but I was doing something this Thursday, so. I wanted to stream on Friday instead. I think instead of doing that next time, I'm going to do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, because the reason I try not to lean towards a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday is because I feel like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, the first three days in the week. And then um, I try to only stream three times a week. I can stream more than that, obviously, but I, I always aim for three. And uh, I feel like if if I stream all three of those days and then pe people won't see me for another four days um, until the next week. So I try to spread it out a little bit, but I think it is, would be better to just do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday anyways. Um, so yeah, 
Um, Friday, Friday stream was, was definitely the hardest stream. And again, I think that was kind of my fault. I didn't really have an idea for what to do for Friday stream. So I wanted to play Sekiro. Uh, so I did play Sekiro, but then my friend called me and was like, do you want to play Apex Legends? And I was like, sure, because, you know, I wanted to, I want to grind some ranked in Apex before the season ends. So I did that, but it was also very confusing for the people that didn't want to stop by because obviously the notification came out that said I was playing Sekiro. Suddenly I'm playing Apex and I'm also playing with people that like I'm talking to. I'm also not being very engaging. So I played Apex for maybe like 30 minutes and then I went back to Sekiro. And it, I just don't think it was overall a good experience for anyone that wanted to stop by. They'd probably just be very confused. And um, I think it was kind of selfish of me to do that because the reason that I wanted to play apex ranked was because i don't really have a lot of friends that want to play apex with me um i don't have a team that wants to like grind ranked um so me getting any opportunity to play with with people while the split is up is uh it is nice and i wanted i wanted to do that so i wanted to like force myself to play apex it was not a good experience at all we just didn't nothing happened nothing good came of it i like you know lost some rp um friends weren't feeling it and then they got off like 30 minutes later so i kind of derailed my own stream for for nothing basically um and yeah so that was this week and i'll that that i think was the one of the roughest streams i've ever done and next to the oc stream the oc stream was really rough um because there's just no one in there and i think that i I think maybe I personally have been able to avoid burnout because this is something that I think every streamer runs into that like that does want to dedicate themselves to to streaming like regularly and then trying to make potentially a career out of it stuff like that. I think that people experience the burnout quickly when nobody is in there unless they truly are only streaming for themselves. Um the burnout comes when you when you force yourself to do it regularly weekly and nobody's in there and I think I've been able to avoid it because I've been very lucky that from the start of from when I basically from when I first started streaming when I first got affiliate I feel like every stream I've done there's at least been some people in there but the past couple of weeks I've been doing streams where like it's just me talking to myself and there's an empty chat room and nobody's saying nothing and again that's not on the audience I don't want like I don't want people to ever think that I'm saying like where are you guys like why aren't you supporting me because that's not that's I don't I really don't like that outlook on things I'm moreover saying that I'm not creating engaging enough content to get people to come back um and it's, it's just hard because I I'm just kind of I'm not out of ideas but it's like I just have other stuff going on that's like got my attention right now um I want to play a bunch of new games but there's like I don't want to force myself to play a game um, because Game Pass has a lot of games, but I don't want to force myself to play a game. So I'd rather just play a game I find fun. But then again, if it's just something that I'm always doing weekly, like Elden Ring or Dusk, then like who cares, you know? Um, so, yeah, I think I think now is the week where the burnout is is setting in really hard. And again, like I said, I'm going to I've committed to this weekly stream thing because it's something that I promised like myself that I would do to like follow, you know, follow the dream. But I do think that it's time to start looking around at, at doing some other things and like potentially changing my life path, you know, which is fine. Cause again, and it does, that doesn't mean that I'm going to stop streaming, you know, it just means that I'm going to stop having this be the main focus on my life. Cause I do think that it is kind of unhealthy that, um, I'm, it's not like the, my main, it's not my main source of happiness, I should say, but it is, it is, I think something that does legitimately affect my mood. And I'm saying this because I want to be honest with myself. I don't want to, I don't want to lie and say, no, everything's fine. I'm, I'm not, I'm not miffed by it when, uh, really, I am, really I am because I think that's unhealthy, but, um, yeah, I think now's the time we start looking at other options, other career paths, things like that. 
Um, again, we're going to finish this 14 weeks out. I think we still got 14 weeks until uh, it's our one year anniversary of when we started. Not not when I started streaming, when I started doing the serious goals and stuff. So um, we'll finish that. But yeah, the burnout, the burnout's hitting pretty hard. Um, and yeah, I just got to be honest with myself because I did say that if this thing wasn't happening within the span of a year, then I'd move on. And I think it's about time we acknowledge and do that. But um, either way, it's been a fun journey. Uh, and who knows, maybe in maybe in the next few months, uh, something incredible will happen that will change my mind. But uh, I won't hold my breath until then. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. That's going to be it for this episode. And uh, I will see you all next time. Again, we're not done yet. Um, we're going to keep going. Uh, until our uh, our one year is up and then uh then i'll go on and officially uh do something else and not retire because i feel like this is something that i do want to keep doing like you know until it works but um we gotta do some other things uh on the side while we're doing that but uh yeah so thanks you guys so much for watching and i will see you all next time